this is going to be the quickest meeting in the history of the Pike this report, I hope. Uh, Lisa, welcome back. Thank you. This time I'd like to ask Nee if he'd come up <laughs> and say the invocation for us. Clerk, please call the roll. Judge Jones. Present. Commissioner Scott. Present. Commissioner Atkins. Present. Commissioner Absher. Present. We have a quorum. We're ready to proceed. And I'd like to ask uh, Commissioner uh, Jim Absher if he would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Justice for all. <laughs> two, two, two quick things uh, before we uh, move on to the items. I think today is Miss Kim Jackson's birthday. Is that correct, Nee? We would like to wish Nee's wife Kim a happy birthday. And then my dad's birthday was last week on the 25th, and I'd like to wish him a belated happy birthday. So, anyway. Um, next item is something Sharon, uh, I've asked Sharon to do. It's approval to apply for energy efficiency and conservation block grant in the amount of 720,000. Sharon, can you just give us two seconds on this? Like literally, and that's counting the time to walk up here. <clears throat> Frank, you have any treasurer's business? All right. What's on? Okay, this is money that was granted to the state of Kentucky, $2.2 million, and all but eight counties can apply for it in eight of the larger metropolitan cities. This, is, this project is to do energy efficiency to, you know, for what you purchase for energy, uh, things you do to your building, uh, activities like that. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> all right, so, that was the reason we had the meeting. Is there a motion to approve and deadline smart to approve to authorize filing of a grant for energy efficiency and conservation? Um, it's a block grant in the amount of 720,000 authorization for the county judge to sign any and all necessary documents. Make a motion. We have a motion by Commissioner Absher. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Atkins. Any question or discussion? Seeing that, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Atkins? Yes. Commissioner Absher? Yes. Judge Jones? Yes. All right. I think that's it. Any other business come before the court? Bobby, you have anything today? No, All right. So um, just for uh, purposes of letting the public know, we do have an opioid uh, committee, uh, opioid settlement funds steering committee, for lack of a better term. I'm not sure what the official name is. It's met once. We put it together to uh, come up with a plan to spend the uh, opioid settlement money that the county's receiving. Uh, hopefully at the next court meeting, we'll have an idea about uh, some direction on that, that money sitting in, in the account. Uh, you know, the county received a $4 million settlement previously before I became judge, and none of that money was spent to address the opioid epidemic. <laughs> Was it spent on prevention? Was it spent on treatment? Was it spent on law enforcement? It just basically went into the budget and God knows where it went. But the simple fact of the matter is, you know, Jim, you've worked in law enforcement for the sheriff's office and, and uh, we all know that uh, how the opioid epidemic has claimed life after life. We're still seeing overdose deaths routinely here in the county. I think last year set a record. 
I personally think that uh, one of the focuses needs to be education and prevention. It, you know, the old saying, a, a pound of uh, prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I think there's something to be said for that. Um, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure is probably nothing more true because it's a lot easier to keep kids off of drugs than it is to get them off of them once they start. And, uh, but, you know, we've got the Commonwealth attorney, the county attorney, we've got other stakeholders, we've got uh, Commissioner Scott's on it, I'm on it. So hopefully we're going to have a, a plan here in the next month or so. <clears throat> I would like to see a comprehensive education plan in both the uh, Pike County Schools and the Pike Independent School system uh, to address that. But uh, we are working on that. Uh, by way of update, we are moving forward with the landfill expansion. We, William and I do have a meeting on that tonight. Uh, we're putting some, uh, you know, we're still uh, in the process of procuring the contractor for that, trying to find the best uh, price for the county. Uh, we're moving forward. Uh, we've got work still to do on the trail system at uh, Flatwoods. One of the things we need to talk about probably in the next few meetings is to construct the building up there. Uh, <coughs> Road departments working every day, patching potholes, uh, cutting weeds, those kind of things. One of the things I do want to talk about, Fabian's not here, he's in his office, um, is I want to talk about putting together a spray program. I talked to Mark Kreider, who is the uh, county, uh, he's magistrate in Floyd County, and they have put together a spray truck, and they're saving a lot of money by spraying weeds because the problem with, and I hope the people listen to this, the meeting is short enough that enough people will listen. We, can, we have made a pass around most of the county already, but with the, water, the rain we've had and the, and the warm weather, these weeds are growing. You know, you can cut them this week, and two weeks later, it, you can't tell they've been cut. Right. And the water weeds in some places are even worse than that. So my thoughts are, and there are places you can't spray, like Fabian's talk about this, you know, you can't spray and kill somebody's garden or their flowers or, uh, or their shrubs out. But there are places that we need to look at spraying to help two things. One, it would be cheaper in the long term. Mark told me there's places they've sprayed that they've, they've only had to spray once every two years after you've, after you've had a, a couple rounds of, of uh, pesticide <clears throat> on them. Uh, we've looked at doing this in the past. I would like to build a truck. Mark said, "Oh, he needs an old truck to get a 600-gallon tank, and he would come or get our—he would get our folks to come down. And he would show them how to put this truck together, and get somebody certified to do this through the Department of Agriculture. And let's just see if it works. We could try it in certain areas of the county, and if we could do it economically enough, uh, you know, it'd be a lot cheaper than than running the mowers, and it would reduce the need to have to cut. You know, we've got." I know that the District 2 road lot's already on their second pass right now. Uh, districts 3 and 4 behind, and we see people on Facebook complaining, but, you know, we're cutting every day. But I'm going to say it again. You know, you can cut it this week, and two weeks from now, it probably needs it again. But when you've got 1,000 miles of county road and you've got six mowers, you can't keep it cutting. I think this party judge would be a good idea. So let's let's there's, get with there are so many places in this county there's not very there, <coughs> excuse me there's not very many houses and I think that spray would really save and if you can spray it one time you're you're done you're done you don't have to worry about it again I mean, well it I, I think I think I think that if we could put a couple you know let's start with one truck and uh, we'll put that on the agenda for the next meeting if we could get uh, Gene to put that on there I'll get Fabian I gave Fabian uh, Mark's number. Um, you know, that's what the power company does. They're using the same chemical that the power company uses, and it's it's working pretty well. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think it's something we need to look at. I think it's a great idea. I would, I would also point out that we are pothole patching yeah. in places, but, you know, the blacktop plant, you know, we're, we're depending on when we can get blacktop because the state's construction is resurfacing takes priority. And uh, But we are pothole patching, and we're working, and, you know, a lot of the calls that we're getting, we've got work orders in. But, you know, it's just going to take time to get them all. So. But I will <coughs> say one thing. I run into some people last night, and they was bragging 
And then you don't usually hear that bragging on Jim Webb and them over there where they had that washout over at Stratton Fort. They said they worked diligently and got that straightened up over there. Well, you know, the road crews are working every day. It's not like they're not working. And, um, but you know, some of these projects in these districts take time to do. And, you know, if they start something, they can't run. And, you know, they can't just be running all over the district trying to catch up, you know, because they never get anything done that way. Right. And what we've tried to do is when we go into a, a holler to work, is get everything that needs to be done in that holler done, even if there's not an open work order in it, but make sure it's all done so that way you don't have to, you know, pull your equipment out, run to the other side of the district, and then turn around and come back. Because, you know, it saves mileage and it saves time. Right. So is there any other business come before the court? I don't have nothing to let everybody know that they're, they're out blacktopping today. So good. Give them her time, you know, and let them, you know, you're going to be held up a little bit every now and then, but think how good it'd be to have your road bike top. Be nice. We're, we, you know, I would point out we can't black top every road in the county, but we're trying to get the worst ones as we come to them. Well, Judge, that's the way that I look at that. Uh, when I go out and look, I try to pick the worst one. I think that's the best way to do it, you know. And, you know, I think, you know, the worst ones and, and the ones that have the, the greatest number of homes because, I mean, you just have to, you have to prioritize the money. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Absher, you have anything, sir? No. Just staying busy. <laughs> Commissioner Atkins, you have anything? No. Nah. All right. All right. <clears throat> we don't have any other business to come forth court. William, would you say uh, benediction and we'll... Entertain a motion to adjourn. Sparrowheads. Father, we come to you and we, we thank you, Lord, for this day and we, we pray your blessings upon it. We pray your blessings upon the decisions made here today and that they would better the county and the citizens therein. We ask it all in the sweet name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. 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 I'll second it. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Scott. Yes. Commissioner Atkins? Yes. Commissioner Absher? Yes. Judge Jones? Yes.